here at 6, we're learning what happened in the seconds after a head-on crash in El Reno. One of the drivers shooting and killing the other. News Force Caitlin Ogle is there for us live. Caitlin. Well, neighbors tell us it happened along this road about where I'm standing. Police were here investigating for hours. They say that head-on crash led to shouting, which led to gunfire. Hey, somebody just got shot outside of my house. Tuesday, 3.30 p.m., El Reno police getting a 911 call on Foreman near Shepherd Avenue. I thought, is that a gun going off? Police tell us two men crashed their trucks head on, then got out. I have a video of it because I heard them fighting. There was not like physical altercation. He literally just shot him. Oh God, the guy, the man has not moved. I think he's dead. According to the 911 call, the suspect stayed on scene. What direction did the car go? Um, no, he's actually still there, standing over him. And when emergency crews responded, they did, in fact, find a 52-year-old male that had suffered a gunshot wound. That individual has, uh, has been identified as Christopher Williams, was pronounced deceased. The case is just barely 24 hours old, police not releasing many details. The victim's fiance tells News 4 she's still trying to wrap her head around this and did not want to go on camera. But she says Christopher Williams was, quote, point blank murdered by his sister's husband after his sister would not talk to them about their recently deceased mother. But neighbors and other News 4 sources are hearing a different story. It was over a money problem that one brother had got the money and the, the other one didn't get any. How long were the police here? Oh, about four or five hours. And police say they have interviewed the person of interest, but so far, no arrests have been made. We're live in El Reno, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Thank you, Kate.